Right, I'm going to do the uh, calibration run on the um, Hewlett Packard 8903A uh, audio analyzer. Um, we've changed a few components, so it will need calibrating. And it hasn't been calibrated according to the front sheet since 1981 or so, 1991. So it's it's well due for calibration. Um, the unit's been on for 20 minutes now, I should think. Um, and I think it's probably ready to be um, powered up and all ready for the calibration. Just turn the heater on here, it's going to be cold. Um, the first part of the calibration is to ascertain that the uh, oscillator is running at the correct frequency. And to do this, you connect, well, it actually says connect an oscilloscope um, to the uh, output of the uh, clock and then feed a frequency stand into the external trigger and you should see um, the drift in the frequency on the scope so you're relying on the external trigger of the scope from the external standard so the scope drifts either left or right depending on where you are with the um, frequency so you need a stationary if you've got a stationary um, waveform therefore you're at the right frequency I'm not going to do that because I've got a good um, calibrated um, frequency counter that will do a better job than that anyway. So I'm going to start off with doing that now uh, and the sheet it says here to um, allow the unit to warm up and it says you connect the the thing you're using to read the, the calibrator to test point uh, what we've got here we've got on board 8 which is the grey board test point uh, 15 so we go to test point 15 we use a good ground on the other side um, I don't know if you can see this let's try and move this okay you can see that rakel there top corner Let's just see if I can zoom you in a bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we need to adjust that for a frequency of 2 megs on the dot. You can see it's running very slightly high at the moment. Um, so we need to find a trimmer tool and it's just a tuning capacitor on the back of the, of the, uh, on the top of the board. Um, and we just wind that down to, to read two megs on the dot. Bit jumpy. It's pretty good. It's certainly good enough for good to six decimal places so that's two meg so that's set okay let's bring that back let's be the missing about the camera it's all getting it's a bit fiddly to get this right not a particularly good tripod okay so that's the first thing done so the frequency is set the next thing is input flatness adjustment. Now what it's saying is you need a, an AC calibrated um, signal when you fit it into the high input. It says set the AC calibrated for 1 kilohertz at 4.5 volts RMS. Connect the equipment as shown in figure 2. So basically the audio calibrator feeds into the input of the um, Hewlett Packard. On the audio analyzer key in 41 special, 41.0 special, 41.0 special that, initializes the system um, and then it says set inputs switches to ground and it says um, set low pass filters to off key oh we've done the key moment so, okay the right hand display on the audio line should read between 4.4 and 4.8 volts so what we'll do first the way we're going to do this because I haven't got a calibrated standard I'm going to take the audio from this 
signal generator up here. What I'm going to do is take the audio from this uh, Philips signal generator that's out of shot here. It's, you've probably seen it before my signal generator. It's a Philips signal generator. I'm going to feed that into the high end of high end of the um, if you look pack hard, then you just need to get another lead. Does that light does that blind you out from the just trying the another light to see if it's any help? I see the scope still. Okay, that blinds the scope out a bit, so I'll turn that light off. Okay. So the output of the Philips goes into the high input of the Hewlett Packard, which is there. A little reading on the scope, that's good. And then we plug the multimeter into there and take it to AC volts and it says one kilohertz so one kilohertz um, I'd like to get this let's collect a, another um, let's crank the counter up as well be nice so we need to tee off again another T piece Bear with me one minute. Once this is all set up, I shouldn't need to keep going back to get new leads. Okay. Setting the uh, counter to one kilohertz. The fiddle. Okay, one kilohertz. <sighs> right, and it says, okay, set the input to switch to ground and yeah, done that. It says key is special 1.10, so 1.1, oh, clear, 1.10 special. Okay, we've got on the meter here on the Hewlett Packard you'll see we've got 5.977 we need to adjust that on the right hand display the audio there should be between 4.4 and 4.6 so we need to be putting the four and a half volt signal so we reduce that to get to four and a half volts as close as I can anyway It's probably the attenuator on, get a finer control. No, no we need the attenuators off, so. Okay, that's pretty good, 4.04, 4.50. Right, so it says, press ratio, press ratio. Set the, set the AC calibrator frequency to 40 kilohertz. So 
So I've done the one kilohertz one. Okay, set it to 40 kilohertz, and then it says adjust a A two C three flatness to minus 12 dB for reading between 99.7 and 19 uh, uh, 99.7 and 100.3 dB. Sorry, I'm a bit. I mean, I'm struggling, a bit confusing some of these figures. I should, once I get moving, I should be okay. So, okay, the next step to do is increase the, the generator 40 kilohertz. Okay, it's at 40 kilohertz. And it should still be at 4.5 volts, so I need to increase it to 4.5 volts. That's pretty good. And it says adjust the A2C3 flatness minus 12 dB for reading really 99.7 to 100. Well, it's 98.6, so I don't think that needs adjusting. Now, you see the frequency on the uh, Hila Packard here, that's our reference voltage. We're feeding in, according to the rake, 40 kilohertz, and the uh, meter showing 98.7% on the ratio mode, so that's set correctly. Now, to so set the AC calibrator frequency to 100 kilohertz, Okay, 100 kilohertz, increase it to four and a half volts again. Obviously the response of this, uh, it's not great. All right, four and a half kilohertz, uh, four and a half volts, sorry, and it says just A2C3. And just the AC calibrated to 100 kilohertz, yeah, so just the A, 2C3 for reading between 99.5 and 100. 99.5 and 100. Okay, well, I think we need to adjust that slightly because we're a little bit low. So, just check that again. Yeah, so that just needs bringing up slightly 99.5. Let's get, I'd like to get that to almost 100 because I, I've got a funny feeling it is slightly low on that setting. So, I've got to find on the 8. On the A2 board, C3, so the A2 board, which is the red one, C3, and that, of course, doesn't tell you if that's the A2 C3. We've got two capacitors on here. One's the 12 dB, so this one must be the 24 dB flatness, is it? A2, no, it's the 12 dB one, so I'm adjusting this one here to get between. Checking voltage, 4.5 on this dot. And we want to increase that from 99.5 to 100. Let's make that, let's make that 100%. There we go, and that's right in the middle of the range. Back a little bit, come on. There we go. That'll do, so 100, 100 kilohertz. And it says, um, note, the adjust, if you cannot adjust so that the 40 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz readings are both within the given limits, change A to C4 as follows, and it's just ordering a few components. What I will do, I think I'll just go back and I just want to check the 40 kilohertz again, so I'm going back to 40 kilohertz. It's 40 kilohertz, go back to 4.5 volts on the amplitude. Right, 
very jumpy control and this is only a very sort of just an audio generator really it's nothing very special trying to get it as close as I can that's pretty good 99.4 that's good that's absolutely fine so moving on to the next page on the audio analyzer press ratio press ratio oh press ratio to turn it off ratio to turn it off keying 1.7 special 1.7 special to set the input to the 18.9 volt range set the AC calibrator 1 kilohertz to 15 volts RMS well, let's hope we can get 15 volts RMS out of it so go to 1 kilohertz drop the range I'm working in the dark here so it's giving um, well more than one way maybe um, working in the dark so you get best view with the camera but Okay, it's one kilohertz, so we can get four and a half volts out of it, um, 15 volts out of it. We're not going to get 15 volts, that's a maximum output. Um, yeah, ten and a half is the best I'm going to get. So what I think...